Good morning. Welcome back to the blended learning mode of uh, mushroom cultivation and marketing. In this class, we'll be studying about agaricus, the life cycle of agaricus. Agaricus is a common edible mushroom cultivated widely in India. So in this topic, we'll cover about the life cycle of agaricus in detail. We know that agaricus is one of the most common mushroom cultivated in India. There are 25 different species of agaricus, of which the two important species cultivated are agaricus campus trees and agaricus bisporus. So the agaricus, they belong to the common family, which is known as agaricaceae. You can see in the picture, these are button mushrooms. So agaricus is otherwise commonly known as button mushrooms. The vegetative structure of agaricus, it is known as a mycelium. You know, the mycelium is composed of uh, hyphae or thread-like, white, cotton-like, thread-like structures. And the individual thread is known as hyphae. So the vegetative body of uh, the fungus or agaricus is collectively, it's known as mycelium. And mycelium is composed of thread-like hyphae. And the mycelium is divided into primary mycelium, secondary mycelium, and tertiary mycelium. The vegetative reproduction of agaricus is by fragmentation, and asexual reproduction is a not common feature in agaricus. It is not commonly seen in agaricus. In agaricus, you can find sexual reproduction also. But here, there is no actual fusion of male and female gametes. And here, the sexual reproduction is by a somatogamous uh, fusion of vegetative cells. Here, the two vegetative cells of different hyphae, they come close together and they fuse, forming the secondary mycelium. It is from the secondary mycelium that umbrella-shaped fruiting bodies are formed. And these umbrella-shaped fruiting bodies are known as basidio card so what you see as the umbrella shaped or the button like structure is actually the fruiting body of fungus agaricus campus trees okay so uh, this is the edible portion the fruiting body or the reproductive body of agaricus the edible portion uh, and we commonly refer uh, these edible portion as mushrooms and the basidio card or the umbrella shaped structure contains club shaped structures which are known as basidium and it is from this basidium that basidium spores are formed so you can see on the slide uh, this is a picture of agaricus it is a mature agaricus and there is a stalk like structure the stalk like structure is known as style and there is a cap like portion the cap like portion is known as the pileus and from the underneath of side of the cap like structure you can find lamella radiating plate like structure and these lamella radiating plate like structures are known as gills okay it is from this gills that basidio spores are formed so basidio spores are actually a uh, haploid structures they are formed from club shaped basidium and the basidium is actually uh, located in the gills. So the lower portion of the umbrella like fruiting body, so this is the fru umbrella like fruiting bodies and from the lower portion of umbrella like fruiting bodies, uh, there arises lamellar plate like structure known as gills and the gills contain basidium and basidium contain haploid basidiospores. So once the basidiospores are mature, they are germinated, and once they fall into suitable substratum, the basidiospores will germinate to form a primary mycelium. Okay, so in India, the butter mushroom cultivation was uh, limited to winter season, but nowadays, uh, because of technological advancement, it is cultivated throughout the year. And white button mushroom is actually the fruiting body of agaricus, okay, which is developed from the lower surface of the body. Uh, from the lower surface of the fruiting body, you can find vertical radiating lamellar plate-like structures on gills. And from the gills, basidial spores are formed. So in this unit, I try to explain very briefly uh, about or, or uh, like I try to explain in a nutshell the life cycle of agaricus okay so agaricus life cycle is very very easy you can see from the picture there is a basidial spore the basidial spore germinate to form the primary mycelium from the primary mycelium secondary mycelium is formed and from the secondary mycelium 
the tertiary mycelium and basidiospores are formed. Again, the basidiospores germinate to form the haploid primary mycelium. So that's all for today. See you in another class. Thank you so much.